Uh, let me get there and... Oh, no. Yeah, that's the right one. Hang on. Uh, and reveal this. You find... Um, okay. You find a shuriken hit immediately beneath the outdoor light. This is why I had uh, Chris and Ginger, or uh, Chris and Peaches, roll earlier when they were coming up on the, on the back uh, porch. Uh, immediately beneath the outdoor light, embedding itself deep in the wall. It has what appears to be a watch battery and tiny circuit board inset to the star and wires cut very shallow into the surface. This, uh, let's see... That's what you find. But would you actually know what a shuriken is uh, in the first place? And would you know what electronics look like? Uh, that would probably be a no on the electronics. But should I roll for the knowing whether, what a shuriken is? Sure. Give me an evidence analysis. Standard evidence analysis test. I'm not going to make it too hard on you. Okay, the shape okay. is probably familiar to you. Um, uh, you, in your various travels, uh, have seen some of the uh, some folks from Asia um, uh, who were involved in fighting against the Gaunt Man in Arosh. Uh, ah, and they, they would have left behind certain things. That's not to say that shurikens go everywhere in time and space uh, to all of the different worlds that are out there. It's just saying that uh, uh, you have seen these before, uh, perhaps on the battlefield. Maybe you were uh, being opportunistic. Maybe you were trying to help people. Maybe this is why you became opportunistic was because you were like, screw, uh, screw war. I don't want anything to do with it, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll bilk people. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't Big know. Cash, not more. There you go. Um, so let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you want to try and do with that shuriken? Hand it over to somebody and say, hey, uh, any chance of helping me figure it out what this is all about? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. The ones that you would most likely, that would most likely be able to help you. And, oh, I forgot to move Andon. Um, that's all right. The people who are most likely to be able to help you are going to be wandering through the house. So does anybody who who would probably have knowledge of these things be will except for uh, uh, Nightbird, be able to help? Let's see. Artorius is not going to be able to help. Andon cannot help. Chris and Peaches might be able to help. I'm not sure if Peaches would have much experience with these things, though. So, Chris, however, being young and being an engineer and, and everything like that, would probably have an easier time pointing out uh, what the thing was. And also being an engineer, be able to go, ooh, ah, oh, electrical. You know, that sort of thing. All right. I hand it over to him and ask me to ask him to help me figure it out. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. Was I going up the list or down the list? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I think I was going up the list. So then, um, Chris, you're going to be approached by Rios, but I'm going to take care of Peaches real quick, okay? Okay. All right. Peaches? What? In that holiday storage and in the library upstairs. Mm-hmm. There wouldn't happen to be any artifacts already, like souvenirs anywhere, would there? Uh, souvenirs from what of uh, uh, the Parkhurst vacation? Or are you looking something to looking for something to kind of add to your collection? <laughs> Not that I have one, but uh, <laughs> uh, did he uh, have any uh, of these plates? Um, because I'm thinking. That otherwise oh. our next step is to head for the Stevenson's farm. Um, uh, as a matter of fact, he does not have any of the plates. There aren't even drawings of the plates. Mm. 
Even bad drawings. That's no, what I was looking for. Right. There's nothing that uh, that would be useful to you. Let's say that. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody's got an open mic. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, there's there's there you go. Thank you. Um, so there's not really anything that uh, is going to be able to help you in that realm. Uh, you might be able to find a description of them, um, uh, but not even a bad drawing. All right, and we know that there's five of nine of them out there. From, from the yeah, article. Exactly. Just, yeah. Okay. Um, Chris, let's deal with you real quick. And then Nightmer Nightbird, I'm going to get back to you. So, uh, Chris, you are, like I said, uh, what's one thing that you want to do before you're confronted uh, by Rios about this electronic thin wafer cutty thing? Uh... Hmm. I don't know. I I'd rather just investigate that shuriken. Uh, okay. Uh, focus on that. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm in the right spot this time. Wow. Imagine that. Okay. Let's move you to the first floor. I'm going to try and get that uh, that uh, module put in. Uh, that allows you guys to teleport between between uh, points because this is all the same map. I've just got it walled off really nicely. Um, so uh, you're kind of following along, and you see uh, Rios is across the room, and sh uh, actually she's out on the out on the porch, and she uh, has pulled something from the wall and is kind of investigating it, looking at it uh, real sharp. Uh, and action. I'd take a closer look at it. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, what you got there? Uh, I, I walk up and take a closer look at it. Okay, I'll let you certain. move your token now. Not entirely certain. It seems to be a weapon of some sort. I vaguely recognize the design, but that's about all I have on the matter. Uh, do you happen to know more? Actually, Rios, you do know more from the report at the police station you kind of realize that each one of the eight points on this shuriken are really sharp and one of the things that the abnormally large man died of were a lot of puncture holes huh. uh. Do you say, I do believe this might have already, something like this might have already killed that other fellow? Yeah, yeah, I do believe this may be one of the weapons used against that mystery fellow. Any other no, ideas? I, I, I'd take a close look at it. To, like, do I see any power buttons, anything that gives it away? Um, like how to use it? You know what? Give me an evidence analysis test. Please. Evidence analysis? Okay. Mm. Oh. Oh. oh, man. You want to throw anything at that? You don't have to throw anything at that, um, but you do have four possibilities. Uh, no, I'd be like, this is... I'm... I can tell this is more high tech than core Earth. Right. Um, well, like I explained to, well, I, I basically read it to all of you. Um, this shuriken has what appears to be like a watch battery in it, although to the touch it's warm. Uh, and then it has circuitry leading to each of the points on the star. But there is there is something okay. odd about it, but you just can't put your finger on it right now. This is high tech stuff. Uh, I mean, I would need more time to look at it. Um, mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna go ask Nightbird because there this is. Uh, I know ninjas are from Japan, and uh, <laughs> she has very high tech stuff. So, I mean. She might have a better idea of what exactly this is, but 
if I would have to hazard a guess, I would say this uses the power source to heat up the blades to plat near plasma levels, maybe. At hot. Isn't it's not a bad supposition, but no. What, uh, what was that? Isn't plasma a term for blood? Uh, <laughs> uh, Go ahead. Uh, uh, it's very... I guess plasma is in blood, I believe. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but... Uh, okay. I do have... We'll say that plasma is also a state of matter, which is very, very hot. It doesn't necessarily have to be hot, though. Um, if if you yourself are going to be getting into aerospace engineering, you're going to find out. Plasma is used all over aircraft. So, and it doesn't necessarily have to be hot. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you can kind of explain that to okay. Rios, being a, a, <laughs> a an engineer. Um, okay. Uh, it's like I'm, uh, it's like yeah, I haven't really gone into that part yet of engineering, <laughs> so this is what I know so far, mm -hmm. and this is uh, me, a 21st century uh, engineer, talking to a mid-century uh, <laughs> point of view. <laughs> That's a good point. That's that's a good valid point. Uh, okay, so here's uh, what I'm going to do. Um, Rios, are you going to be following Chris when he goes to ask Nightbird? Yeah. Okay, uh, then I, I will get you guys back upstairs in a few minutes. Uh, if I if I had the teleports on here, you guys could get yourselves up there. But uh, I just I haven't figured out how to use it yet. Okay. Our, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Nightbird, it's your turn. Mm -hmm. What specifically are you looking for? Well, I'm looking on a computer mm -hmm. for information concerning the, the, journal the temple, entry. Mm -hmm. the journal entry. So anything related to um, uh, the plates. The people, they're, they're, whether or not any survivors have been found, mm -hmm. you know, since that article, you know, if he's done any, you know, DNA hunting or anything, because mm -hmm. DNA testing is, is valid in 2017, uh, today testing, because they were doing that by 2010, mm -hmm. so... Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see uh, here. I only want to search the computer for, you know, images, text files, documents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so you you take a minute and you pull a you, you you pull a Mr. Scott for from Star Trek Three Search for Spock. Uh, for a moment, and it's computer, and and you try and pick up the mouse computer, things like that, and then uh, uh, when you do pick up the mouse, the monitor flickers to life. Okay, um, mm -hmm. so you realize you can move the mouse around and use the keyboard and stuff like that. How quaint! Um, and <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so you start looking around um, for various I files. I do have two other computers. Yeah, go computers. ahead and I, I was just going to ask for that, just right as you 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 spoke up. So go ahead and give me a computer test. Let's make it a challenging. So it should be a twelve difficulty right. number. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Nice. That's a good success. Okay. Um. On the good success, you begin by finding the more or less a scan of the page that had the Parkhurst information, or not the Parkhurst, the uh, the Stevenson information on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, pretty much right away. Um, as you go deeper, you find, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, you find that. Um, 
the contact from Alhamabar to Parkhurst to arrange a meeting was not only recorded on Parkhurst's phone, but it was copied, the, the message was copied, or the, or the conversation was copied over to the desktop as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is, um, it's basically just Alhamabar saying, uh, I have a party that's interested in certain information about the Stevens farm. Um, uh, it, there, this client is, um, uh, gene genealogically related to, uh, you know, to, to this, uh, individual, but I need you, uh, to roll for me. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, to do, to do, to do, um, maybe let me figure this out. If there's a different one, um, um do 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 there's really not um could you roll me a language test and if you don't have language skill which i think you probably do it's mind i do not okay so roll your mind uh, i'm gonna have it be against a standard target number so 10 nope uh, oh, I have to use the mines. Okay. Oh, that's okay. right. Okay, so let me let me find something else that you might be able to use. Um, oh, okay. You just want me to roll yeah, mine, yeah right? you, you're you're just uh -huh. correct. You're yeah. just gonna have to roll uh -huh. mine for me. That's pretty good. Uh, that it's a standard success. You get the impression from the sound of his voice as he explains that the individual is genealogically related uh, to the Stevens family that he is lying. Okay. Okay. Um, but he's trying to to make some some inroads with Parkhurst, and you see Parkhurst is kind. He's kind of cautious, but he's also kind of eating it up. Okay, because he loves this kind of research, but you can also tell from the discussion that they have that though Parkhurst has the right set of skills to research this, um, he uh, he explains that he has never had to research that specific name before. Um, and he goes on and asks a bunch of questions like, is this related to the occult? Is it, uh, is, is this very specifically only, uh, a genealogy thing? Because any genealogy, uh, individual could help you with this information. I specialize and it sounds like Alhamabar is saying, yes, yes, that's, that's exactly what I'm looking for is your specialization. Uh, I, if you have not researched, uh, Stevens before, you may also look up the name Stevenson spelled with a PH instead of a V. And that's where Parkhurst's research led. Um, that's what the the uh, the book is is bookmarked to, and the name is written down, um, uh, because the guy came in um, uh, and and had not been in the United States before. So of course, at like Ellis Island, or or where you know wherever he popped on shore, um, his name would have been changed to something easier. Okay, in this case, yeah. Stevens. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see, what else? Oh, 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 so, uh, that's the Nile Empire involved. Um, there is also um, a recorded conversation. Again, Stevens, uh, I'm sorry, Parkhurst liked to record his conversations, especially dealing with genealogy, because there can be some dangers involved there. Um, but, uh, you wouldn't figure that there are, but yeah, um, a, a librarian, oh, I mean, huh? Uh, well, I know, um, um history and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, especially, especially if, if what is going on with the, you know, with the genealogy has to do with, you know, 
kind of some scary history, like who was, yep. you know, Stevens was, Stevenson was involved with the East India Company, okay, yep. and and those were bad dudes. Um, so those were basically yep. the Nazis of their time. What's up? Yeah, but if modern inheritance is involved, relatives pop out of the woodwork, legal and illegally. Exactly. So, so if you have yep. something like a news article or. Uh, something pop up it can cause all kinds of problems um yep. so uh, uh the call is from a librarian in a library that uh parkhurst used to frequent uh quite a lot um and she explains to parkhurst that somebody and this was a couple of days later so probably yesterday um before all of this happened, she called. As a matter of fact, the timestamp is 15 minutes before the police estimate that Parkhurst and Alhamabar were killed. Okay, so this phone call is from the librarian, and she explains that the same book. They uh, there were some uh, Japanese men looking for the same book um uh that you had checked or that that parkhurst had checked out the uh you know the day prior okay mm. um okay. uh and then uh about an hour after they left there was a guy with a wire running from his neck down into his coat who was looking <laughs> for the same thing mm -hmm. i know okay. who that is mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. Is there a um, like a blank USB or something around? I can well, plug in all the stuff in? there are two USB drives on the floor. All right. And uh, and you that's you that's actually if I can take them. you actually may not recognize uh, USB drives because those are those are old hat. Okay, USB drives are are gone. Uh, in Pan Pacifica. Oh yeah. But, um, okay, and that's a that's a clue, by the way. He just made his roll. I bet he went. Oh, how quaint. Uh, he, yeah. <laughs> These old things are so simple. Yeah, I, I want to pick those up and uh, you know check them out. Okay, give me mm -hmm. a, give me a simple computer roll. Easy. We'll call it easy. To kind of remember of their function. That is not what I was looking for. Um, you're, yeah, you're, you're making me roll. <laughs> well, you know that's that's what that's what games are about. Um, so you're you're kind of looking at these thumb drives, and Captain Bouchard walks up and he says, uh, uh, "Don't you know what those are?" Well, I'm from a higher tech society, so we stopped using these. Oh. Eons ago. Okay. So I probably only vaguely remember what they are. Okay, he says. Well, let let me let me <laughs> let me see one. These don't have any blood or goo or anything on them. So, uh, he goes and he plugs one into the side of the monitor, and uh, the uh, the screen comes up. Uh, for the uh, file explorer on that computer, okay. Not in, in. Would it have been file explorer in 2017? Yeah, I mean Windows yes. Windows 10 came yeah. out by then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, the uh, the screen pops up and there are a listing of files um, in there, and and you it's basically the same information. Um. Uh, on the thumb drive that you've already found on the computer itself. Okay, I just wanted to either see if it was the same or make a copy of it for, for myself and the and the because I want to give it to the Delphi Council and then leave a you know leave a copy for the for the for the officer. Okay, um, Bouchard kind of looks expectantly at the other drive. I wonder if that second drive is another copy. Um, you can check it. You, you know what you're doing. Yeah, you, <laughs> you go to check that it, one. It is yeah. a carbon copy. All right, well, I'm taking one and you can have the other. 
<laughs> okay, you know what? I'll go for that. Uh, I'll even I'll even uh, write up the the custody report properly because these haven't been bagged or tagged. So um, he goes he opens the bag with the sweatshirt in it and throws the the thumb drive in there. He says, uh, you know, keep that in in peace. Uh, and whatever your Delphi Council says to do with it, um, I, I hope you're able to uh, to uh, find something good to do with it. Uh, let's see. Did I just now run the over question somebody? is is why did he have two copies? Ha ha! Well, he knew that he might be in danger. <laughs> what are some other possibilities? Here's going to give it to somebody. On someone, yeah. Dun dun dun. Or or something. The mystery yeah. deepens, but Ross, uh, Nightbird. Your inability to remember what a thumb drive did from the beginning, might that also apply to others? Oh, yeah, the other pin specific uh, the assassins that were here. Layer they upon layer been, upon layer. So they wouldn't have known what it was either. Mm -hmm. uh, they would have totally forgotten. Okay. So that, that, that is a clue in of, of itself because that means um you know oh and or other high tech society so okay so there are three things four things that y'all have found in this room so far there are the bullet holes from Alhamabar's pistol, there are the uh, the the black holes against the wall, um, going through Alhamabar's chest. Um, there are very sharp sword um, cuts, and many 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 small holes uh, on the large body downstairs on the first floor. And on Parkhurst's body. What does that tell you guys? Oh, and the thumb drives. Don't forget the thumb drives. Got left behind in the shelves. Are are disheveled. The middle shelves are disheveled. What does that okay. tell y'all? Someone's been here before us. Well, yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. What else? And seems like they got shot too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, yeah, so the assassins either had someone with them that got shot and, and got away, mm -hmm. or they came before the assassins and got shot, and then the assassins came, killed them, mm -hmm. and missed the thumb drives when they, when they searched the place and trashed the house. Okay. All right. So it's uh so there's two maybe at least two um other sets of individuals that we need to be on the alert for. <laughs> okay. All right. That's that is that is a pretty great conclusion. Anybody else have anything to throw in with it? Yeah, I assume the I assume the short I assume the sword marks are probably from Quintana's or Electric Quintana's. And, and that's what the uh, corner, or not corner, yeah, the coroner's report, uh, the forensics lab and the coroner's report basically concluded. Yeah. So, but I mean, these are super sharp. Uh, these are, are not messy. They're not thick. Um, yeah. So, but they're every bit as deadly. And, oh, uh, yeah. and there are burn marks that are not necessarily picked up uh, in the pictures uh, on Parkhurst's body, okay, uh, and they mm -hmm. are they are they're stippling and there's burn marks all around the 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 sword slashes, okay. Yeah, so that's probably from the electric katanas. Electric katanas, okay. Yep. Uh, Which I have one, so that's right. I so you, I wouldn't recognize it very well. Exactly. 
That's exactly right. Okay, um, about the time you're getting done with uh, giving Bouchard one of the thumb drives and you kind of put one into, you know, a safe spot on, on your armor, um, uh, Chris and R Rios... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry? I do have a backpack. Oh, okay. Something. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and list them there. Yeah. Uh, yep. Or or list list the thumb drive. Um, I'm anyway. on my note, note page. Okay, yep. awesome, awesome. So um, they come up asking you just as you're finishing closing up your pack and stuff. Uh, they come up to, they come up the stairs to ask you what this is. Okay, you guys role play that out. I'm gonna get a drink. <laughs> Give me one too. I hit <laughs> rum, I hit me, I hit here. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm starting to get pretty dry, so I think I'll just have some water. Oh, yeah, I mean, I have that too. Boring. <laughs> <I'm drinking. laughs> <laughs> Cherry Hill. Uh, there you go. So, who came up? Uh, okay, you've got, you've got Chris and you've got Rios who have come up. Chris is whom? Connor's character. Oh, yeah. The, okay. the the really tall, lanky, thin aerospace engineer. Who is also a very adept psionicist. Oh, okay. The one, the one that... Pick up? Piss put people down. Off and, <laughs> piss people off and tosses them. Yep. <laughs> uh. Yo, Nightbird, we got something that you probably should check out. Um... Uh. Yes. <laughs> I hold up the shuriken toward... Well, oh! Toward here. Assassin ninja weapon. Mm-hmm. Although, technically, technically, I can use it, too, if I really wanted to, but it's not honorable. So, these uh, guys are from where you come from? They're called shuriken or throwing stars. Right. You, you, but there's I mean, more to them. I, I mean, technically, they exist in modern society. They've been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, just not the fancy high-tech ones. But uh, army, if you went to an Army-Navy store, you can <laughs> find them. He's yeah. not wrong. <laughs> oh, wow, really? Yeah, yeah, you can get them from you Army Navy store. You, you can get them here in, in the U.S. You can get some uh, cheap ones or some real ones to me, not where you go. Um, but yeah, she's like, yeah, ninja weapon assassin. Okay, but... Um, she went her own. Now... Uh, do you want to try and make an evidence analysis to identify the big um, uh, the big silver dot in the middle and the circuitry that comes from it? Sure. Okay. Yeah, this appears. Uh, what is my difficulty? Um, for if just a standard, just right. a standard difficulty. Okay, um, this is something new that you have not seen before. It's obvious I that it is a, a low number that, that equals my even equals my skill value. I still won't pass. That's well, <laughs> well, if if yeah, basically you've got a die total of eight. Uh, so you your die roll of eight gets you a bonus modifier of minus two. Your skill value yeah. is an eight. So yeah, yeah, this one is right. yeah. Well, I mean, I shouldn't use impossibility. Is it? If you want to, yeah. Uh, it's you rolled an an eight, so there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, you want him? Okay. Oh, very nice. There you go. Okay. Um, do you want to reduce your possibilities, or do you want me to? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Zero now. There you go. How do you get those back? How do you get those back? Uh, you'll get those back at the beginning of the next act, which okay. you're you're pretty close to anyway. So we'll we'll get that moving here in a moment. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so let's see. I'm, I'm doing some adjustments. Okay, so what you see is um, the, the button in the middle, since you rolled so very well, the, the button in the middle um, is a high, uh, high capacity battery. What happens is there is a, a tiny little bezel ring between the battery and the wall of the battery case. When this battery, um, uh, when the battery contacts the bezel ring the first time, the bezel ring retracts back to the wall, uh, activating the battery and the shuriken uh, uh, when it's thrown. Okay, it, it has to be thrown with a certain amount of force in order to work. Um, otherwise, they'd be setting off in 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 uh, shuriken packs all the time, star uh, star packs all the time. Um, once it hits the target, that battery uh, shifts in the direction uh, of the of of the impact point by gravity, hits the bezel ring, and discharges a really nasty electrical shock. Okay. I wonder if those are some of the burn marks that are on some of these people. That is a brilliant deduction and true. And probably they probably threw some of these and then they came in and finished them off on the hit That's probably what they did. Yes. That uh, it, that and sounds that, correct that to me. That sounds like very ninja. Yeah. That's a very ninja thing to do. So, I told uh, Sean all this. Show him the fancy shirt. Okay. Uh, you show him, and you can kind of explain to him that this one has not been activated yet. Yep. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. It was embedded into a wall. It was yeah. activated, but it discharged harmlessly. Uh, it yeah, didn't... But it missed or whatever, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Let's see. How am I going to do this? Oh, I know how I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, no, in there. There we go. Um, so, Let's see how I'm, I'm still trying to determine how I'm going to do this. So, okay, so you figure out the shuriken, you figure out uh, the computer stuff, everything like that. Um, just as, okay, hang on just a second. Did any of you spend any cards? Uh, not in the house. Uh, yes. Not that I, no. Okay, no. if. No. If you are beneath four cards, or if you are a prodigy and beneath five, um, uh, go ahead and grab a card. Do any, I don't think any of you have um, uh, more than that to discard down to, right? Uh, can we also... Uh, yes. After, if you don't like a card, you can also discard? Let me... Uh, yes. Uh, let me go ahead and get this up again so that I... I'm still trying to memorize all of this. So completion ending is seen. All players shuffle their pools back into their hands at, if necessary. Players with a hand of less than four draw or have dealt cards up to four. Once this step is announced, players may no longer exchange cards for possibilities. We can't just discard cards. Well, actually, you can discard one. Players with a hand of more than four must choose card which cards to discard down to four unless they have a perk or card that allows otherwise or completed a glory card in the previous act we haven't completed a glory well, card yet yeah well i have three cards in my hand other than the cards oh do you yeah somebody's got some hey. good rap music going thank you <laughs> um <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, yes, if you have more than four cards, go ahead and, and discard down to four. Just choose whichever card. Oh, I meant, yeah, I only uh, have three right now. If we don't like a card or have a duplicate I, card that we want to give, like, I'm, two I'm getting there. Uh, glories, can we discard that and draw to four? I, I'm getting there. I, I'm getting oh, okay. there. Here, okay, here. Too, too, too many questions coming my way. Okay, there we go again with the... Give me that rap music. Um... Okay, 
Hold on. <laughs> Everybody take a breath. Okay? No. So, if you <laughs> have more than four cards, unless you have a special thing that allows you more than four cards, or a glory card has taken place, which it has not, you, uh, you would discard down to the appropriate number of cards. In this case, it's going to be four for most of us. Uh, do, do any of you have Prodigy? I can't remember anybody if anybody has Prodigy. I don't think so. Um, if you had Prodigy, you could have five. Um, if Prodigy is, it gained one extra possibility. Oh, that's right. Uh, so which one is the yeah, extra? Cards. Somebody's allowed uh, to carry five cards. Uh, I don't know about that, but I, I know Situational Awareness is the one that lets you play an extra card from your Right, hand. right, right. So. Um, okay, so if, if you have less than four cards, go ahead and draw up to your fourth card. Okay, and that's done, of course, through the card hand uh, interface. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, each player then has the option to discard one card of their choosing if they have one in particular they do not like for the ability to draw or be dealt another card. Does anybody, okay, Connor, I see that, Glory, and you drew a new card, yeah, okay. I got, I got one, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Trying, there you go. Uh, yeah, uh, it, monologue could actually be important, but okay. Um, let's see, all of the cards could be important in this instance. Uh, yeah, it, I have a new one. All right. There you go. Do you have one that you like, though? Um, I mean, let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, adrenaline. Oh, yeah. Plus adrenaline three, plus three. Strength or related skill. Yep, there you go. So, that'd be great for me. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and close that. Uh, we are entering, let me, let me get this down just right, scene four. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so... Once you've had around a half hour to investigate, loud clicks begin to sound throughout the town home and outside, the street lights snapping off over the entire block, and you are all plunged into darkness. Hang on just a second. Um, uh, that, John, uh, 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 Remington, you were first. What were you saying? I was saying, uh, does that usually happen around this kind of place? No, I say I'm whipping here. out my uh, industrial flashlight uh, from my belt. Ah, I took my axe out. <laughs> um, okay, you guys are not going to have much time for this. So hang on and we'll deal with dexterity and surprise and stuff like that in a moment. Nightbird, what were you saying? I was going to draw my katana and activate it. Okay, uh, drawing <laughs> weapons and stuff like that, we're going to take care of here momentarily. Yeah. Okay, let me let me kind of finish reading this. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, you're all plunged into darkness within the townhome. Unfortunately, heavy clouds began rolling up about the same time you arrived here, so there's no light to speak of inside. Okay. Um, what do you guys do? I snatch up the journal book, the library book. Uh, you can't where from where you're standing. You can't see it. Uh, I I I kind of remember where the desk is. Um. Okay. Who are you gonna run over to get there? Well, I I also have a flashlight on my belt. Okay, but there's more. So you guys are basically being quiet for a second. Is that what it is? No, I'm gonna be moving towards the book, and, and okay. I will elbow someone in the gut if I have to. Well, Sorry, I'm, excuse me. I was going to ask, doesn't my suit have, like, night vision or something in it? All right. Now, the first card that's up, uh, we're going to begin the combat. The first card that's up is Torg. Okay, uh, you are not in a DSR round. However, you are in a dramatic round. Okay, all of your guts basically drop into your shoes. Uh, as you realize something untoward is going on. Villains get to go first, so I'm going to get to do what I wanted to do first. And heroes are confused. I did not put this card up here. It is 100% random. Uh, 
but heroes being confused is actually actually apropos uh, defend and taunt are um, are your uh, uh, approved actions now do not put a card into your pool just yet okay what uh, if you have a okay give me I need uh, let's see for Artorius Nightbird and Peaches uh let me let me see something real quick you're gonna have to give me a moment my laptop's acting up a, a little bit it's gonna have to let it rest for a moment <laughs> before i can roll okay oh hey i need to change that picture so uh yeah hang, hang on we'll get to pictures here in a moment okay my assets library images uh okay no oh, 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 general and I've got a flashlight picture in here somewhere, peaches. Um, there it is. That was simple. Okay. Um, so, let's see. Peaches, did you say that your flashlight is in your backpack? No, it's on my belt. Making it a simple action. Okay. Uh, that depends on how you roll. So, um... Peaches, I need you to roll a difficult dexterity, a 12. Um, Nightbird, I need you to roll a moderate computer, so a 10, a standard computer. And Artorius, when you come back up, I need you to give me a easy mind check, huh? Why is it computer? Because you're activating your uh, lights from within. Okay. 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 All right, you Peaches, did, you made it. Do what? I'm sorry. I remember my, my flashlight's one of those heavy duty. Yes, I know. Officer type ones. It's a club as well as a flashlight. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, you, now wait a minute, Ross. What, what were you what, saying? One difficulty is ten. Your difficulty is a ten. Yes. Okay. Even though I'm using technology I'm familiar with? Yes. Okay, somebody's got a motorcycle going on. Hold this yeah, it's a neighbor. Neighbor does this all the time. Okay. Peaches. Okay, I'm back. Um, Nightbird, yes. do you have anything? You're basically caught off surprise, or, or caught by surprise. Uh, so you're back. Go ahead and, and roll a um, mind test with a difficulty of eight. Okay, so let's see. Uh, uh, what are we doing here? I'm, tr I'm trying to find something and I lost my train of thought. Uh, sorry, by the way, uh, what was my roll that I had to make real quick? Mind. Mind. Difficulty eight. Yes. Difficulty eight? Okay. Okay. Oh, gosh dang it! Uh, oh, oh, come uh, on! <laughs> this is not my uh, day. Paul? Yes? I was just reading uh, one of the effects, you know, the effects of the shield ring, and I've never picked it off of its usage, so right now I'm faintly glowing. So I'm producing light. <sighs> Okay, this is gonna take a minute, guys. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to do this. Uh, let's see. So we'll start with. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Confusion. That's what I was trying to do. I was confused. Okay. Um, each member on the side affected by confusion by this condition cannot use their pool cards, but still gain them and play them to their pool as normal. Okay, so the, the confusion really isn't going to affect you all that much, and it's not a setback. Uh, okay, let's start with Peaches, since she was the first one to roll. So, uh, you were plunged into darkness, but you've got kind of a, a, a thing that you can do. Peaches, go ahead and move over to the corner of the desk. You hear the soft padding of delicate footsteps in other places in the house. 
and you hear a swishing ah. sound nearby of some manner of cloth wrapped around bodies in the shadows. Okay? Um, as your eyes begin to, to adjust. What you hear from nowhere in particular is this. Pathetic stormers. A soft voice reaches out to you from the darkness. And each of you hears it like it's in your own, uh, you know, like right next to you. You can try and react if you want to, but there's nothing there to react What's against. That right? I had hoped to meet more worthy and honorable opponents. The sound of ringing steel sliding across what you believe is wood cuts the new silence of the room. I am honorable. You're the one who's not honorable. Is it I honorable to hide in the shadows? I draw my hintana. Face me. Nightbird, I'm not gonna lie, that scared me. That was awesome. <laughs> That's intimidating. Um, I'm, I'm slipping the book into my waistband behind my back and putting my coat over it. Right I mean there. that. I mean that is what my character. I am a samurai. <laughs> oh, that that intimidated me, man. Badass. Jeez. Billy Badass has joined the party. <laughs> Okay. I'm, my, char my character is too eccentric to say anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Come Give me a minute. Me. Come oh, on. Dear, 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 dear. Oh, shh. Shoot. Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. What the? Uh, four four ninjas? Ninjas? Okay. Villains get to act first. They fit the wrong simmer in the mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking mushrooms. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know, you know, you kill the whole party and the game's over. So. Four Ninja hey. Four is about to stumble into Captain Bouchard. Yeah. I, I don't intend to kill the whole party. Um, but you guys kinda kinda spoiled the, the fun. Um, so I'm going to have me a little bit of fun. <laughs> I mean, come on uh, now. We didn't spoil the fun. We played the game and figured it out. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You're absolutely correct. Okay, villains get to go first. And I'm playing the game, too. Okay, so... Uh, okay, I'm just going to go top to bottom. Ninja 6 goes first against Chris. Chris, you can face off, but you have two ninjas now standing right next to you. What are okay. you know? So we're gonna. Do you want to actively defend? Mm. Are they using melee weapons? Uh, they are using melee weapons. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's see here. Uh, okay, pop open, pop open. That's a good boy. Uh, let's see, electric katanas. Oh boy! No get hit by those. It's it's up to you. Do you want to actively defend? I'll you risk it. Fireball, would you? <laughs> you don't want a fireball in here. <laughs> you really don't. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I mean, okay. you, you can do like burning hands and do it. Like out the door. Well, actually, if 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 somebody did let loose a fireball in here, um, uh, Rios or not Rios, uh, Nightbird is probably the only one that would survive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I played in D&D earlier, and I was rolling Fireball. like 20 or above for all my all my rolls, so this game is impressed yeah. me. <laughs> also, Andon is carrying dynamite, so I would be careful with fire around here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh. those of you who don't oh. get killed by the fireball <laughs> would get killed by the... <laughs> The explosion. Mm -hmm. the, it would, so, you know. Okay. Do you guys remember what happened? Do you guys remember what happened in iRobot when the big robot runs through the house again and again and again at the wrong time? Okay, that's what you would be looking at here. Um, yeah. So, uh, Chris? Uh, as I said, I'm going to risk it. I won't actively defend. You're not going to actively defend. Okay, so... It's almost 10, 30. We got like nine minutes. Uh, okay. Let you know. Okay, before we go to start this fight, do we want to go ahead and cut it for the night and pick it up next week? I do. Only, only because it's late. Yeah, I mean, it's 
It's been a nail biter. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll be right better, back after the good. messages. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So then in that case, let's let's go ahead and wrap it up for the evening. Are there any questions, queries, quibbles, quips, bitches, complaints, moans, groans, uh, anything like that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. Um, is the... Uh, I'm on the big guy behind me. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, but it's not your turn yet. I know, I know. Uh, oh, right, yeah. my, my only quip right now is <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> well, I, and, and I want you to consider defend and taunt being the uh, the active, uh, the uh, approved actions. If, if, uh, if all attackers against an individual... Uh, miss that individual, that individual gets a card. Uh, ooh. Mm hmm. I, but I, only I'm one. I'm fairly confident uh, right now with because they're using melee weapons, and right now my defense against melee weapons is 15. Mm hmm. Now, how, how is it 15? Let's pop that open and, and let's make sure that you don't have something active you're not supposed to have active anymore. Effects. Okay, you've got the shield ring. Okay, that counts as a medium shield, uh, which it gives you the plus three. I think that's a plus three effects, plus two. Okay, but it adds plus two to your unarmed combat, your melee weapons, and your dodge defense. Uh, I mean, mine's 14, so. Yeah. Uh, and I also have uh, uh, three adds in melee weapons. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's That's see. A dexterity of ten. That would be fifteen. Two plus three plus ten. Okay. There you go. I, it just seems awfully high. We had we're in our ninth adventure, so I should not be surprised by this. But <laughs> um, I, I am still I am still like, can you guys really have stuff that high? But I built these guys specifically for you. Okay, all of you guys. Okay. Oh, for a second they were like, why me? Uh, <laughs> well, because you're my favorite to beat up on because you like to run away. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair, fair. Notice how there's a window here and a window here. Yep. Well, I am there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> one right there. Okay. Uh, all right, quit playing. Everybody jump out the windows. I cast fireball. <laughs> As you're on your way out. <laughs> You, you, you like hit the you hit the ceiling with the fireball and the entire upper floor just explodes. That would be funny to watch and probably not a bad plan. Um, uh, yeah, it's a good thing my code is in fact fire retardant. Fire retardant, <laughs> not fireproof. Not fireproof. <laughs> the only downside to that is Andrew and I are not in your windows. Um, oh. true, but yeah. you do have. Oh well, yeah, that would suck. Never mind. That would just be really, well, really bad. If he, if he just tosses a dynamite in the other room and just blow a hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And and as far as you see, you are trapped quite well yep. by ninjas. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cut it for the night. The villains start off and the heroes are confused. You guys don't have anything to be confused about. Um, but uh, for those of you with situational awareness, you are not allowed to play a card into your pool at the beginning because of how confused works. So that kind of sucks for you guys, but, you know. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, remind me again what does confused do? Okay. Uh, back wording. Let, let's read it. Confused, each member on the side affected by this condition cannot use their pool cards, but still gain them and play to their pools as normal. Okay, so as normal. Okay, so it's a different one I was thinking of. So anybody with situational awareness can put a card into their pool, but cannot play it this round. So uh, I can do that. Yeah. So if you want to go ahead and put it, you, those of you with situational awareness as a perk can go ahead and put a card into your pool. And then I think we're gonna call it a night, folks. Yeah. Okay. Alright. 
then my friends i hope you have an excellent evening and i'll beat up on you next i mean uh we'll have a fight next week <laughs> fight 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 <laughs> good night everyone good night, good night. It was fun. just remember if i was successful you know some from stumbling around in the in the dark i've stuffed the book in my waistband and my at the small of my back okay and my coat should hide it you know what give me a dex check real quick Great. Good Great. night, Ross. Take it easy. Sweet dreams, Ross. I'm going to say that's probably a yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're able to, to stuff it in your uh, belt or boot or pocket or whatever. Uh, actually, it's too big for a pocket. It's it's basically a full-size book. Okay. Yes. So, I, I, like, instead of a... Uh, I've stuffed it at the small of my back in my. There pants. you go. Okay, that works, and and it'll and it'll I probably hold that, there. Yeah, and I, I do have that fireman's coat over me, so so it's not visible. I I want anymore. you to think about a possible problem with putting the book in your pants at the small of your back. Um, if one of these guys manages to take their katana, their electric katana, to the book, um, it could not only cut the book in half, but could burn it. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I, that's why I took a picture. <laughs> you got a picture of that one page, not the whole book. Yeah, that's really all that I was interested in. Uh, oh, well, then why grab the book? I, I mean, it only did have that one entry. Uh, well, so that they, they don't, they don't get it. Oh, okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Gotcha. Yeah, they don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> or they need to know that we don't want them to have that book. Yeah. So, okay. So um, I think it's important knowledge that they shouldn't have. There you that's where we need to get our our. We need to hustle off to uh, the Midwest and find the old Stevenson farm. Okay. All right. Uh, as soon as we stomp on some ninja hiding, um, I'm making a call <laughs> to the Delphi tra uh, travel agency. <laughs> the Delphi. Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Um, well, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and, and come off the recording. Uh, for all of our Possibility War listeners, have a great night, and we'll see you next week, hopefully. All right. Take care. Good night. All right. Yeah. Good night, my friends. Bye. Bye.